Greetings and salutations, my little mug-blooded Americans. This is how I do my moves. If you're able to defeat me in this short tutorial, you'll be able to defeat me in real life. That's called a 10 punch jab combo. That's how I plan on taking out Bivol. That's how I plan on taking out Charlo. That's how I plan on taking out all of the top dogs. You guys like my lion's mane? You guys may have heard that we've recently announced Creator Clash 2. We're doing that again. Uh, tickets are on sale today. I'll give you guys more details uh, as we go through this video. I can't believe that uh, these people who, <laughs> who fought the first time are willing to come back and do it again because it feels very, uh, it's not comfortable. It's not a comfortable life. I felt very comfortable for the past fucking, you know, four, five, six, seven years on YouTube. It's like, oh cool, you know? Uh, I can upload videos, I get regular views, and now I'm in this thing where it's like, okay, I have to stop making videos and uh, I have to dedicate my time <laughs> to a sport that uh, leading up to now I had zero interest in. Yeah, <laughs> at the end of the day, you can't just like clock out like, oh yeah, I did the fight, I made a massive bag of a million dollars and now I can go back to being sort of the the stagnant person that I was. Before we look at this year's fight card, I want to address all of the fighters from last year who aren't returning. Uh, pretty much all of them wanted to fight again. They're, it seems like they're all keen to do it again, which surprised me. Uh, but that sort of went into the process of building the card for this year. We sort of realized that we need to stick to the philosophy of we want surprises, we want you know, new fighters, we want it to be a little bit of a mystery. Some of the card, if not half the card, needs to be people that we haven't seen before. Because we can't just have the same people return every year. Uh, you can have like an off year and maybe come back the next year. It's gotta remain a, like an interesting, dynamic surprise. And uh, unfortunately, like, you know, we, we, we almost have to make a decision right after the first event of like who we want to include in the next event because we want to give their opponent ample time to train. Now we're gonna talk about my fight. Uh, I'm gonna be going toe to toe against Alex Wasabi. Uh, that is not, that's sort of like a stage name, uh, Alex Wasabi, he's not actually Japanese. I actually think Wasabi, like the, uh, the Japanese condiment would actually be too spicy for him. It's just a guess. It's just a theory that I have <laughs> that I'm gonna slowly build upon. For all the wasabi haters out there, I just wanna say, I'm on your side. I hate him too. I hate his guts. How much do you not like this guy? How much? How much do you not like him? And you, how much do you not like this guy? If he pulls out of the fight for any legitimate reason, like, you know, he gets, uh, you know, a concussion or he breaks something or anything like that, that's fine. Uh, we're professionals. He is allowed to pull out of a fight because he gets injured. That's necessary. So uh, we'll replace him with someone uh, and, you know, it'll be fine. So anyone worried about Wasabi pulling out, don't be. If I'm not worried about it, you shouldn't be worried about it. We'll make it happen either way. The reason we chose Wasabi is sort of the same logic as any of the other fights. Alex and I have, like, the same experience level. We both had uh, one fight apiece. Uh, we weigh the same, we're around the same height, and uh, we've fought before. Well, we, we've sparred. Uh, Alex Wasabi has a boxing ring in his backyard, and uh, while we were preparing for Creator Clash 1, he invited us to, uh, to his house to spar, so I think it would just be exciting to see how our skills have improved since November of 2021. We got more than enough ammo to make fun of Alex Wasabi. We don't need to make fun of his brain injury or call him a pussy because he doesn't want to, to risk early onset Alzheimer's. Like, it's just chill, all right? It's just, it's just a sport. You make fun of the fact that his name's Wasabi. You make fun of the fact that he made a bunch of content for kids. Ooh, that's lame. You make fun of him for having fallen off. Oh man, he fell off big time. You can make fun of his fucking, where he's from. He's from Kentucky. You can call him Alexander Horseradish, which is the perfect name for old Kentucky boy. Alexander Horseradish. You can make fun of the fact that Fousey Tube pieced him up. You can make fun of the fact that... 
You can make fun of the fact that he does weird choreography videos and he thinks he's in an anime. You can make fun of the fact that he loves anime. Okay, so you like anime. Yeah. Look at this, I got My Hero over here. My Hero Academia! I love anime too. We actually, I mean, I think he likes shitty anime though. That's something you can make fun of Alex Wasabi about. I think he likes shitty anime. Like, I think he likes Dragon Ball Z and shit. <laughs> I mean, Dragon Ball Z is cool. It's just like, you know there's like, just more engaging things to watch. That's all I'm saying. You can make fun of him for having a boxing ring in his backyard. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? You're not Floyd Mayweather. Why do you have that shit back there? Now let's talk about how you can watch this darn thing. We got two ways. You can be there in person or you can buy the pay-per-view. Now, in person is very straightforward. Uh, you know, those seats are gonna start to sell out more and more as we approach uh, the day of reckoning. So you're gonna wanna buy your seats as soon as possible. If you plan on making a trip out to Tampa or if you're in Tampa, you wanna buy the seats as soon as possible because that shit's gonna sell out. For the pay-per-view, we brought back the incentive where if you buy it in the first week, you're gonna get it at a discounted price. So for this first week, it's gonna be, I think around $20. And uh, I think we're doing a deal where we're also throwing in a trinket of some sort. Uh, I say trinket, but it's, it's like a keychain, which is a trinket. It's a cool trinket. I like saying trinket. Trinket. I've created this infographic to show you guys the tremendous amount of value that you get from purchasing uh, tickets to Creator Clash. Another thing I have to mention, uh, last year we uploaded the entire broadcast to my channel like a week after it aired live. Uh, this year we're not doing that, so I, I don't want anyone to be like, oh, I'll just wait till it comes out on iDubbbz's channel a week after the event. It's just like a bad decision uh, if we want to drive as much traffic as possible to the broadcast itself and to have as much money as possible raised for charity. That's pretty much it for this video. Get your tickets now. Do not wait. You know, if you want in-person tickets, you gotta coordinate with you and your friends and get them as soon as possible. Otherwise, you're going to be like, oh crapazoid, we should have done this like 10 months ago. If you want more ways of supporting Creator Clash and the charities involved, we have uh, merchandise. This year, we went for, I wanna say like a more tough theme. We got like a lot of skulls and, uh, and shit like that. So I really like it and we're gonna be dropping more merchandise as we get closer to the event. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for this video. Uh, we're still gonna be uploading uh, content periodically. It, it might just be a little bit lower effort because, you know, we're trying to win a boxing match. So we can't spend too much of our effort making good YouTube videos. Uh, all right, thank you. I love you. Bye.